Nature is my real teacher. I went to college, I studied years about color and line and shape and texture and those things certainly taught me. But I have learned more just from being outside than I've ever learned anywhere else. I always felt like kind of called to be outside from the time I was very young, just built to be outside. I've kept uh, sketchbooks all my life. I used that my sketchbook to keep me from having to interact with others. Almost every day of my life from the time I was in the seventh grade, I would just run home from school, jump on my bike, do my, take my book or my homework, my sketch pad. And I started off in the park because I guess it seemed more safe to be in the grass or whatever, but I started exploring the woods around it and just kept going out from there. I feel like when I'm in front of nature, I'm more like the student. And it becomes like a dialogue between me and what I'm looking at, and I'm almost being shown and told what to put down. Because I'm asking questions, and it comes out in colors and shapes and lines on the paper. And by the end of the painting, I know so much more about what I was looking at than when I began. I really consider my paintings a byproduct of the experience that I'm having when I'm outside in the nat natural world, which is why I choose to go there. It's, it's always the experience, because it's what's happening inside that matters to me. Painting for me is, a, is, a, is praying. It's a type of prayer. And I feel like I'm in the deepest appreciation I can be in at that moment. I just can't separate my spirituality from um, any other part of my life. It's probably the most important part of my life, or the part of my life that I um, am most aware of, almost more than the, the physical part of me that, that has to find its way through the day um, and, and go places. I'm much more aware of what's going on inside. I've always thought of, of painting as, as a form of mission, but my mission was about helping everyone witness the, the creation of the art. So I feel like I have a special position, maybe, to go and try to be a translator or a guide. I think artists and creative people, were the, sh we're the shamans who were trying to be that guide between the spiritual and the physical. I, of course, always wanting to be outside, focused on nature, but I do feel like I would get lonely if that's all I was doing. I'm always having people call me. They hear about that I love nature and they hear about um, these things and I guess they're, they're interested and they, they want to know more and they want me to bring what my, you know, my enthusiasm and what I have is share it with their students or their civic club. Or, so I spend a lot of time going and doing PowerPoint presentations. But that certainly takes time away from my painting. People who care very much about me, who but maybe who don't, maybe they don't see the world as I do, they see it as taking time away from me making money. But I can do that to the point where then I don't have time to go out and get this really focused, in the moment experience. I'm learning how to balance that. That is a huge challenge for me. I was losing 
that, that sense of connection that I so love to have on a really moment to moment basis. So for my birthday, which was in the spring, all my friends and family gave me a little extra money and I got a cabin out in the woods and just painted and painted, not just painted, I just, I just soaked it all in. The kayak has become one of my very favorite ways to uh, explore and navigate around in nature. And nature in, in painting in, is something I've always uh, really loved for being a very solitary thing. But kayaking, because it has a little danger involved, especially on rivers, I usually take friends with me, and I have found that that has opened up a whole new world of fun. And in sharing nature with others, I have even experienced nature in a whole deeper new way than I ever have before. I love to be a witness. I've decided that about myself. I like to witness nature, but I like to witness other people witness nature. Walking on the 